Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome, welcome to my channel. My name is Veronica Steele. Eunice Steele is the show for Chef and more. So, today is the um, the next week that almost is we are going to be a star the month of the week, the November, uh, about the um, uh, the scrappy blanket. And I uh, we are going to show you the uh, the pictures and the colors that I'm going to pick. So I hopefully you can, um, I mean, you know, you stay with me, crochet with me. I uh, was just going to say, get your favorite drink, get your uh, project, and, um, you know, um, and we are going to have an amazing fun just crochet and chit chat. And you're going to see the progress and the way I'm going to put my, um, my blanket. So, um, uh, the colors. So we are in the week 11. So you already see it right here, the picture. And like I, I've been mentioned, I have a video for each day, the way I pick my colors. If you like to go check it out, this, um, I'm going to put everything together in a playlist. If you like to go check it out. Also, I had a tutorial, um, for this blanket step by step the stitch how you can do it how many change you have to do for the size of blanket that i'm creating and i want to say thank you everyone for being here with me today don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please leave your comment um you know if you like to share this video or any of my videos uh feel so free to share thank you very very any other social media thank you very very much so um the you see some colors right here right so that's the colors that I'm gonna pick, but first let me show you the pictures. Um, some some uh, calendar I really I'm gonna not gonna use it, but this one right here that's the first one. This one is the butterflies, and of course you see I got the green. That is the green color, and I'm gonna use some uh, kind of brown too. And you can see this kind of blue. I'm not gonna choose the blue this time, but I'm gonna choose with the um. The brown and the green that is one of those colors and this is the calendar so looks like that's the butterfly these calendars i get it in, in dollar tree so um this blanket is the Johnny fiber sisters scrappy blanket um myself and my amazing and beautiful genie butterfly coche with genie and more uh we are the signs together this blanket this is the next calendar and this is the landscape and this is the picture and of course i'm gonna pick some colors in here you just you already see it's a lot of greens and orange and yellows whites and blues so that's the next uh and also i use five millimeters crochet hook you're gonna need a pair of scissors if you like to crochet uh this beautiful blanket uh but you know if you like to crochet this blanket like i said i'm going to leave all the links uh for my for my tutorial and for Sis Genie, Sis Genie, she have three different options that you like to go check it out. You're free and welcome to go. Um, the next one, pretty much, I'm gonna use this one right here because this one they have more different kind of colors. You see some purples, yellows, blues, browns, greens, you know, um, and this kind of color right here too. I like the way they should look at like a purples and really nice colors. So, and this one, because it's a lot of orange, I already, you know what? This is one I'm not going to do in anything. So, so far, these three calendars, I'm going to use and pick the colors. So, um, let me show you real quick. That is the colors that I have right there so far. And, um, yeah. So I picked some purple because you see the purples right here in the picture. They have some purples. So this is kind of, this is mixed berry. There's not really purple, but it's I consider it a kind of purple. And so many orange. Well, it's only two orange that I'm going to pick this side. Is these two a little bit dark and a little bit light. And three different types. The yellow. This is a yellow color. And this is asafran and um this is yellow i'm gonna use because there's so many colors yellows you can see and this one is gold and um this is hobby lobby yarn but anyway this all this yarn is size number four 
and any size number four that you like to use you can use just you know just um, look at the pictures about your calendar or any picture that you choose you know and so you can have the you know the colors of the yarn brown of course brown green and some blue for the sky and some cream because the butterfly have this color and also i got this one right here i'm using this one in the blanket and this is toaster almond so you can see and the butterfly they have that color you know so this three right here is kind of part of the butterfly and the green i'm not put the blue because i just you know what i just choose this color now like i've been doing about this blanket i'm not like okay if i choose three colors i'm not gonna put it together okay these two colors is go for this but for this uh for this calendar no i'm just gonna mix and play with the colors and put it together so that way i know uh which one go look better now i had the white just in case i don't know if i'm gonna use it but i only i use 10 colors okay so um so far i have my 10 colors let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i got my 10 colors if i decide don't put one of those colors that i already showed you i'm probably gonna use white but i don't know because you know some um let me see which one it is this one right here this one right here for the for the cloud right here is color white so i don't know if i'm gonna do it or not you know but for this calendar, uh, for this picture of this calendar, I'm going to go with the blue, uh, green, and the orange. And so I'm going to part the yellow, but, you know. So this is only the three calendars for this week. So this is the week number 11. And I'm going to get it done with this blanket. So one more week. And we're completely done. And after the, this uh, week for get it done with the blanket, uh, we are working in the border. And um, I'm thinking, like I said, I'm thinking I'm going to do a double border and using all the yarn that I have left, like a, in the small, like a sample. If I use this one right here, if I have left um, a little bit, a little bit extra, I'm going to put it this one together because there's not a lot of yarn. So I will go just, you know, but just like that. And um, yeah. So let me get this clean, this table, and let me work, and I will be back, and I'll show you my progress, and stay tuned, get your favorite drink, get your whips, and enjoy the show, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm been crochet for a little bit, and this is so far the colors that I'm been putting together. So I put the orange, brown, the cream, and the gold, so now, Remember in the last um, last week, I did a little, well not mistake, but you know, I forgot put it uh, double in here before I'm gonna start doing the granny square. So um, I put it double right here. So that's okay. So now I going to do another double right here in the top the double and the green, that's gonna be this, the green, that's gonna be this green. <laughs> the yarn means, you know. So um, I'm going to just put this green right here and um, I'm going to continue crochet and this is the, um, oops, sorry, um, the week 11. I'm doing the week 11. One more week and I get it done with the um with the blanket but um i had to do the week 13 that is gonna be the uh, the border so i'm just doing a double crochet in here in the top the double crochet i really i don't like much uh, the green and the gold together but you know it's okay so um i'm gonna be just continue and now you see i'm gonna hide my yarn the way i'm gonna crochet and 
I don't know what the next color that's going to be in the top of this green. And, um, yeah, so tell me what is in your cup, what is in your hook, what you're working on, you knitting, you crochet, just put it in the comment. If you like to, just relaxing. And how was it your weekend? How was it your um, start? Well, you're going to see this video on Monday. Um, actually, I record this video on Sunday and in the evening. That's when I had the time. So, Sunday is my day to do the blanket. And sometimes I finish on Monday. But I, it just depends if I get a busy and uh, if I get so busy on Sunday, I just um, refinish, you know, on Monday. But this one I just finished on Sunday. Yes. So, um, yeah. So, how was your weekend? And... So we have the Johnny Faber Sister Saturday, and you know, we had a lot of fun Saturday night. So, yeah, every Saturday, the Johnny Faber Sisters, we go live. It can be at my house, Sis Jeannie or Sis Angie, and we just have a lot of fun, right? So, I'm still keep working and this blanket i can't wait to get it done and start doing work in the border that is why i am not even cutting the end the end is the um like this the yarn because i'm plans to get doing the double border and the blanket different the one that i did i maybe maybe i don't know I'm just going to say maybe the other blanket that I get it done, I maybe take it out the, um, the border that I did for that one and put it in, in the, uh, doing it the double. It just all depends how much yarn I'm going to have left, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty much I'm going to have a lot. So, yeah. So that is what I going to try to do it in this one first. And you know what? I have another big, huge blanket that I need to get it done with the blanket. Um, probably when I get it done with this blanket, I'm going to be focusing on that one. So that one I'm working with the um, anniversary cake. It was the, the first colors when the anniversary cake come out. And, and I need to refinish. It was not a lot of more to get it done. But um, um, I hopefully I can, you know, finish. So let me finish this and I will be back to, I'm going to start doing the granny stitch. Okay. So um, I'll be back. Let me uh, get it done this one because if it's not going to take more time. So I'm just going to try and get it this, um, the video don't get so long, you know. So, yeah, so let me, let me finish this one. So I'm in the color number one, two, three, four, five. So I have five, five more colors. So let me get it this done and I'll be back when I start the, um, uh, the granny stitch. Okay, so I'm done with the color, um, this one right here, the green. So now I'm going to use the color blue and I'm going to start doing the granny stitch, okay? And this is the part right here, the one I'm going to start. And let me get this one right here. Oh, so I was mentioned uh, about the blanket. So that blanket is not even getting done for almost last past, I'm gonna say three years, I guess. I know there's been so long. Oops, what I'm doing in here. 
okay one two that's a three let me try to see yeah um so it's it's kind of i had to do a couple more more rows about the blanket and doing the border so i think you know what let me take it this out because it's gonna look good um and yeah so but it's it's a big big blanket and so far i think i have one more anniversary cake what i was doing in that it was control the colors because you know anniversary cake they have different kind of different colors coming in different colors right so i was trying doing the um control the colors so um so there's one that i need to get it done and that yarn is really soft and and i haven't i and i have let me see one the sisters blanket not this one this is the mosaic blanket that is another one and i have the challenger blanket that i'm not even done with the blanket and i have i think uh i forgot what is the color of the blanket but at least i have one let me see one two three four mosaic blanket that i need to get it done so after i finish this one i'm i'm gonna be focused in one blanket at least working each day a little bit maybe like i'm gonna say like each day i'm gonna be working maybe i'm gonna say 45 minutes or at least an hour let it go and put it work in another another project and see how much i can get it done it it let me tell you i love doing the mosaic it's so really nice but i know i'm gonna put a lot of things in, in my in my hands and i will just like mm, no I need to get it done those blankets so i'm really so happy that i finished the all in the family the circular one and i'm going to be so really excited to finish this one and like i said i was mentioned uh too um that i'm probably going to put a fabric in this blanket and then the other one and both so that way my kids can use it like a regular blanket for the bed I know, I mean, they you wanna say they have some pink, but, well, they don't have pink. They have like a fuchsia pink, you know, but hey, it's just a blanket. Because it's so, this one is really so big for putting in the couch. I, I did, but I was just like, no. I think that's gonna be for the boys' bed, my kids' bed, and so yeah, so. So let me get it this done, everyone. Let me get it this done right here. And I will be back when I get it the other color. And there's gonna be another granny stitch that I'm gonna be working in the top of this granny stitch. So um, just stay tuned and stay with me. And we're going to see what is the next color, okay? I'll be back, don't go nowhere. Okay, so I'm done with the blue now. Let me see the orange. You know what? Let me put the yellow. Let's put the yellow. You know, blue, blue and yellow look good, look really good. Yeah, okay. So right here, I'm going to work in the other um, granny stitch and the top the this granny stitch and this is what i'm going to do and yeah so and i'm probably in the top the yellow i'm going to put the orange i don't know maybe the purple i see how they go so let me just um get it this done and let's see how the colors going together. I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying to put it the colors. Can I get a match? 
you know, but sometimes the colors is kind of hard to put it together. But what do you think? That is so far the colors that I've been using. And let's see, so it start right here with the orange. Now I'm at the yellow with the second row with the granny stitch. So let me get it done and I will be back, okay? Okay, so I get it done with the blanket. Well, not the, with the blanket. <laughs> the part of the blanket. Okay, so this is how much I have left for the gray. So I'm going to have enough, I'm going to say, for uh, doing the part for this, the, the light gray. But the purple, this is how much that I have. So um, I had to go look for in in my crochet uh, in a closet. I hopefully I can have one more of these. If it's not, I'm pretty sure I buy for um, uh, created one of those uh, circle of blanket, and I'm pretty sure I got this one in, in purple, uh, this yarn. So I'm gonna use that one, and it is a buy another one because um that's what I'm gonna need. So let me show you how the look. Oops. Let me move this one over here. So, I just want you know share with you how to look the colors and um, put it together. I really, I'm gonna be honest. I really love this way the go all the colors put it together. Let me get it closer so you can see much better. Look at this, y'all. It's so beautiful. This is so amazing. So this is the uh, the the last week um, that I did. I really been enjoying. It. So, um, like I said, I need to get one more in the gray purple. And after I get it done, I mean, uh, uh, completely done with the because I, I think it's one two or one month, one more week. I, I think it's one more week. What you think <laughs> now um i need to do it because the border i'm gonna do with the border and what that i'm gonna do for the blanket um i'm going to uh put a fabric so um next week or this week i don't remember when is the um for the um the day for a sale for the um i hope i think it's this week yeah, I think it's this week. Um, I got to check it out on Hobby Lobby. Get the get the fabric because it's forty percent off, and um, I'm going to find some in a specific fabric for I can put in for um for this one. So when I get it completely done, the um um the blanket and the border and everything. So well, actually, I'm gonna put to the uh the fabric. They have to be to this side, to the other side, just all this part right here, because the border is gonna be this part right here, right? So I had to measure the measure. I use my measure tape, measure this side to. Oh my goodness! No. Um, to the this side. Oh, sorry. So see how how much I need it, and um, if if I be able to find a uh, um you know bigger size the black the not the blanket the fabric and so i can have the fabric ready so when i completely the blanket so i can start because that's gonna be sew it and i'm not gonna put in in i don't know and maybe i gonna be able to put it in the machine because i had a, i had a sewing machine i see but you're gonna see all the process if i'm gonna do it with my hand or i'm gonna do it with the um with the machine but i think i i'm gonna say i think i can do it to with the uh, um with the soil because it's not really thick what you think i i've been putting fa uh, fabric with the machine and yarn and it was sewn really pretty good but i like to the way in i can sew it with my hand but it's gonna be a lot um, I don't know, but y'all gonna see the process about that. So it's gonna be this blanket and the other blanket that are completely done. So yeah, because you can see this. I mean, they're really not close because I wanna the, the boys can put this one and they're on on bed, and this is a good size for their bed because it's exactly the size for that. 
uh, for my bed is so small. I'm not, not really small, but it's small. So I'm gonna, the kids can have this one. This one is for, for them, one for Alice and one for Ishmael. So, um, yeah. So everyone, thank you, thank you so much for uh, here with me today. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave you a comment. And I wanna know if you been crochet this beautiful um, a scrappy blanket, Johnny Faber sister blanket. Um, I've been see pictures um, and Facebook that really, really beautiful colors, the yarn bench shoes, that's wonderful. Thank you everyone for be participating with us. And I'm gonna say thank you and see you in the next video. And um, let's see what colors I'm going to be choose and how I'm going to put it together. Have a wonderful and beautiful and amazing yarn day. Bye.